hello guys so hope you're good okay so this is about uh, finding out the distance from a point to a line in space uh, let's say we have a line over here okay hamare paas ek line hai uh, let's denote it by l aur iske upar hamare paas yahan pe yahan pe let's say kahin pe bhi ek point consider kar le let's say this point is s so we need to find out the distance from this point and uh, to the to this line right how do we do that and we are talking about a uh, three dimensional space right so how do we do that we need to in order to find the distance that means ke we are locating we are we are trying to find out the shortest distance uh, uh, of between the point and the line which will be the straight line which will be, which will be the line perpendicular to um, to, uh, to these two things right so this will be obviously this line is perpendicular to this uh, so this is the angle will be this angle will be 90 degree or and 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 Uh, what else what else in order to find the shortest distance we need to, we need to let's indicate it with d in order to find this d we need to uh, consider we need we need to consider some other point on this line let's say it is some other point is p uh, with coordinates x y and z um, if we if we uh, join these two points the point the one on the line and the one away from the line if we join these two points and represent these uh, joining with a vector if we if we form a vector form a vector between these two points that vector will be called ps right so let's say ke that this point let's let's denote it by p not x not y not and z not right because this line is passing through this point so uh, at that point at, at that point we represent that point as p not where the coordinates of p not is x not y not and z not right so uh, we have this uh, vector ps now uh, if we if we uh, we know that uh, the vector uh, decomposes into, into two components over here graphically this will be the horizontal component of this vector and this will be the vertical component of this vector what will be the vertical component of this vector uh, the vertical component of this vector will be magnitude of ps into sin theta right and same same is the case the horizontal component will be magnitude of ps into cos theta right where theta is the angle um uh, where theta is the angle right here right so theta is here so the vertical component will be this one and it is represented by ps mod sin theta and the horizontal component is this but we are still concerned about this this height basically this length so uh, it can be represented as this so we can say that d is basically is mod of is equal to mod of ps into sin theta right and uh, now what do we do what we can do right now is uh multiply this with something is what we can do right now is multiply with it with uh, let's say we have we have a vector which is parallel which is parallel to this line right the vector v here is parallel parallel to this line so if we multiply with the the magnitude of this parallel vector so things would be uh, looking like this and let's say we write it as this uh divided by vector v so you can see uh, what uh, because of the sin theta over here we think that this could be uh, the formula of the or uh, the expanded formula of the cross product but cross product as we know the cross product of two vectors is basically uh, first one's magnitude into second's one one's magnitude into uh, sin theta into unit vector n which is perpendicular to the to this since this is a unit vector let's let's take the mod on both sides of this formula so because of that uh, the only mod will be over here right so um, so since this is a unit vector the mod of unit vector is basically 1 the magnitude of unit vector is 1 so we will be left with this thing right and now you can see the similarities between this one and and this one over here so uh, it's basically the cross product of the two vectors and the magnitude basically the magnitude of the cross product cross product of the two vectors so we can write it and the first vector is uh, ps okay cross uh, the second vector is vector v and it's magnitude of the cross product of these two vectors right by comparison you can compare you can compare these two things right or divide by vector v so this is how you can calculate uh this is basically the formula uh of calculating the distance uh from from a point uh from a point to a to a line right uh, we need to we need to have two things we need to have uh we need to know uh, which from which point we are calculating the distance and we need to ne we need to know the line uh, from which we are cal we are calculating a distance and we need to uh, know uh, which vector is parallel to that line right so for example if we if if you are given uh for example let's say we need to find the distance we need to find 
the distance uh, from the point uh, from the point uh, let's say that point is denoted by s from the point 1 1 5 uh, and the line is in and the line is l in the parametric equation of the line is given so 1 plus t y equals to 3 minus t and z equals to 0 plus like 2t like 0 plus 2t right so okay so this is the parametric equation of a line and this is the point from which we are calculating the distance of so, like s is over here and the line is over here right this is the line this is uh, the point s okay so what we need to do we need to uh, we need to first uh, what we need we need to find our vector p s so p was the vector lying in that in 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 on that line right the p was the vector lying on that line like it was x naught y naught z naught the vector the point p naught so how do we know uh, which point lies on this line we can see it over from over here like this was the x naught if if you compare uh, this thing uh, with the with the general parametric equations of a line so you can see that this is x naught this is y naught this is z naught so our x naught y naught and z naught uh, which will be our point p naught on lying on the line will be 1 3 and 0 so same is the case we can find out uh, we need we also need a vector which is parallel to this line so we can find out the vector that is parallel to this line from these parametric equations still right so v1 this was v1 this was v2 and this was v3 so the vector would be 1 minus 1 and 2 this will be the vector right uh, like i minus j plus 2k this is the vector parallel to the line right okay so these two things we deducted from the by just by comparison comparing the um, equations of a line uh, parametric equations of a line right and we know which point from which point we need to calculate the distance we need to calculate this distance right so now we use the formula formula was uh, ps cross v divided by mod of v so we can calculate mod of v here directly so mod of v is basically 1 plus 1 plus 4 which is mod of 6 and uh, we can we, we need to calculate the cross product of ps and v and then take the mod of that uh, cross product is basically i j k and uh, ps component we need to calculate the ps first uh, ps will be let's say right here ps will be uh, subtracting the s components from the p components uh, 1 minus 1 uh, 0 1 minus 3 minus 2 and 5 minus 0 would be 5 this is our ps and uh, so ps cross v so first vector would be ps so is 0 uh, minus 2 5 and second would be the components of v v was uh, 1 minus 1 and 2 so now let's calculate this cross product and you will be getting uh, after calculating the cross product you will be getting an uh, answer uh you will be getting uh minus not not sorry not minus i i uh plus 5j plus 2k this is the cross product of ps vector and b vector right uh we need to take the magnitude of this so in order to take the magnitude uh let's let's take the magnitude so ps cross v magnitude so that means 1 squared 5 squared 2 squared so the magnitude will be 30 uh, whole square root so distance will be square root 30 over square root 6 which will be square root 5 you can write it in points if you wish you can you can write it as uh, as it is so this was the distance how to uh, this was basically about how to calculate it, calculate it at a di um, a dis the distance from a point to a plane in 3d space right so that is it uh, in the next video you will learn what is the uh, how to find out the equation of a plane in space uh, right and don't forget uh, to practice the sketching if you if you are calculating uh, if you are finding out the equation of a line uh, from two points or from a point and um, and, a, and a vector which is parallel to the line uh, so don't forget to sketch that uh, in sketching you just need to locate and you just need to uh, plot your three dimension you just need to you need you need to plot the three x's and you need to specify the the point the initial point which is given to you and the equation and and from the equation of the line you need to just plot the line okay which line which line is that right so sketching sirf itni fi
Okay, so in the next video, you will be able to learn how to form an equation of a plane in space and how to um, um, how to find out the distance from the from from a point to a plane, right? So and also how to calculate the angle between two planes. So see you in the next video. Take care.